film this introduction like five times because it is so weird when you first kind of get started to talk to a camera because I'm like, just talk like it's people, but I'm like, it's just a screen looking at my face. Anyway, <laughs> good morning and welcome to my channel. So today I did food prep um, for three days because that's how I like to do it. Every three days I do a food prep. I don't like to eat food that's in the fridge longer than that, to be honest. And plus I'd get bored because I always mix up my meals and stuff like that as well. So I just prepped for my partner and I. We, I did lunch and dinner and a snack. So we're going to be getting our own breakfast and stuff like that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these recipes and this video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you try the recipe, let me know. Um, yeah, and do you guys food prep? If so, let me know what your favorite food prep recipes are because I'm always looking for something new. All right, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> I'll stop being awkward now, okay? <laughs> Basically, um, we've got two cans of diced tomatoes. You can get the low salt version if you want, but I just get the standard version, I don't really mind. I'm not really afraid of things like that. So two cans. I've chopped up one, Maybe I should get you. Maybe I'll just show you this way. <laughs> so on here, I have chopped up a red capsicum. I've got a bay leaf, six cloves of garlic. We've got one chopped onion. So I'm just gonna chop that all into the pot. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to film things eventually. <laughs> Okay, so from there, just to add some flavor, I've got a smoked paprika. I usually just eyeball that too, but I'm probably gonna put in about one to two teaspoons because I really love smoked paprika. I swear I put in everything lately. It is amazing. If you haven't tried it, get on it. It's so good. We've got cumin seeds, um, ground. I'm gonna put about maybe one and a half to two teaspoons of cumin seeds in. Um, so I'm not going to make this one spicy because my kids are also going to be eating it. Um, we've got a little bit of salt, three or four cracks of salt, and then pepper. I am obsessed with pepper. Oh my gosh, this is making my eyes water. I'm just going to put it away for a second. Taking the onion off, it's making my eyes water. Um, I really, really like pepper, so I'm quite generous with pepper. And... We've got some stock. I'm using the Macelle Beef Style Stock Powder. All of the Macelle brand has no animal content, so you can use the Beef and Chicken Style, which I find have a lot more flavor than the, the original veggie stocks. Um, so I'm gonna put, it says on the packet to use one teaspoon per two cups of hot water. So I'm just gonna use about two teaspoons. A little bit generous teaspoon. There's a fly in my house. Oh, I don't like flies. Who does? Um, and basically, that is it. I'm going to add some chopped coriander as well, which I'm just going to quickly chop up. So with the coriander, I'll probably put about a generous amount probably about a full handful of coriander. Throw it in there. I like to eyeball most of my cooking. I don't really work on ratios or recipes too well. And when I follow a recipe, I don't know if you can relate, I always find they never have the right amount of flavor for me. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's something about recipes, I never stick to an actual recipe, I always change it. Um, and instead of adding cups of water making dishes, I'll just fill this with water. And I'll probably put about four cans to five cans of water because the lentils are going to really, really soak that up. Okay, yeah, so I've used about four cans and I'm just gonna a spoon to mix. So that's covering all of the ingredients quite well. basically it so I'm just gonna put that on high actually I'll put it on low 
for until about 5 36 o'clock and it shall be done and switch it on to low and it is that simple okay so we're going to start by spraying our pan with some olive oil and we're going to add one teaspoon of fennel seeds we're going to just cook these on a medium setting for about one minute until they get a little bit golden brown and we're going to add one diced onion so i got this recipe from a website called fitchen um, which I thought was kind of cool, but I am, as I said before, changing the recipe. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use one whole cauliflower just chopped up into florets. And I'm just going to put them in a, aside in a container while we're waiting for the onions to cook. So we're cooking the onions for about 10 minutes. Also, I like to also, um, cook the stem because I don't see the point in wasting the stem for the cauliflower. So we're going to chuck that in as well. So the recipe doesn't call for potatoes, so but I love potatoes and I want something a little bit more filling. So we're going to put in just some baby potatoes, just diced, along with the cauliflower. Um, we're adding turmeric, which I didn't realize I wasn't filming, so I put a teaspoon of that. This one here is cayenne pepper, which I'm putting about half a teaspoon in. Uh, chili. I put about half to one teaspoon of chili. You can omit this if you're not a fan. Um, but we quite like chili. And just stir that all in. And we're going to add the whole tub of the... Oh my gosh, I'm having the biggest mental blank. <laughs> the tomato paste. Cool. So the curry powder I have added because I realized that it was a cauliflower curry that did not have any curry powder. So I've added about three to four teaspoons of curry powder to this recipe as well. Um, so it came up as a nice consistency. After that's all blended in for about a minute, we're going to add the cauliflower, one can of coconut milk, and I'm also about to throw in the potatoes. So that's what it looks like. So it goes from a nice paste into a nice creamy texture. Adding in the potatoes now, and I forgot to tell you before, we're adding in a diced capsicum. So I chose to have a red one, but you can have whatever you like. Once again, I'm just using water out of the can as I usually do. So I used about one can of water in this recipe and my favorite pepper. <laughs> so we're just gonna stir that all in. Um, I cooked it on medium for about 30 minutes. That's what it looks like. Um, so now we're bringing to the boil some brown rice and quinoa. So I halved it. I didn't really measure, but I put a lot of it on because we're going to use it for the dinner and for the lunch. So I brought that to the boil and then I simmered it till ready. Um, so for our snacks, um, I just am preparing some fruit. So this is called a candy melon. And this is my cool little contraption that my mum found on the internet that she bought. And it actually works. I was a bit skeptical at first, but it works. It's just when it gets to the bottom, it's hard to pull it out and see its little crack in the side. I think I did that with a watermelon one time. So I actually keep all my old jars from like pasta sauces and um, pickles and all that sort of stuff. So I'm actually using them as the food prep and no, the middle bits are not going to waste. So this is my puppy, uh, <laughs> Teddy, and he loves to eat the center parts and the seeds. So, um, that's what's happening with them. And he is thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying them. <laughs> we only adopted him a couple of months ago from the RSPCA. Isn't he adorable? Anyway, so this is how it turned out. So I had six jars um, of that melon and some extra to give to the kids. And I'm just going to combine that with some watermelon as well. So this is a handy little idea so you don't have to always go buying more containers because guess what? You already have them. And they're perfectly good containers. Yummy. So yeah, this is how it turned out. As you can see, I haven't soaked all the labels off. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. 
Yeah, so here we go with the prep. We've got, I put one cup of rice into each container for the lunch prep. And I put, I think we ended up with about one and a quarter cups to use up the whole entire lunch that we prepared. So that makes it all nice and even, you know, how much you're eating and just topping it with some coriander. With the dinner, I just put the whole the whole thing in the fridge. <laughs> But anyway, this is how it all turned out. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And please let me know if you try these recipes. Thank you for watching.